So now you've had a look around Ecamm, I think it's time we went live to Facebook. So I'm going to start you off from the basics. I've actually disconnected my Facebook account. And uh, so at the bottom here, destination, Facebook. So that's if you've selected anything else, head back to destination, Facebook. Then it asks you to log in. We need to accept cookies and log into your personal Facebook account. This is where you get tested to see if you can remember your username and password. We got it right. You're ready to go live on Facebook. So let's click get started. Now you'll notice that down the bottom right corner here, it's just changed around. So now in destination Facebook, it says post as your profile post to and then go live. So I'm gonna work down this, it's very logical, people do get confused with it, and I just want you to follow it through as it's designed. So post as is the first thing. So we started at the top, you know, you've selected which uh, area or which platform you wanna go out to, that's your destination. Then logically you come down, post as, and what it's saying there, Adrian Salisbury, it's got in brackets, this is my profile, my personal account. Uh, so if I wanna go out from here, uh, I could go out to, this will now list down, I could go to my own timeline, I can go out to my timeline with just friends, I can go to my timeline, only me. That's a really good thing that we do. It's one of the first things we do inside the Ecamm Live Academy is get people to go live just to themselves. Gives you a chance to pick up your phone and log into it. No one else can see it and it allows you to interact, post a comment in, get a feel for what that delay is like because it can throw some people out that there is this delay. I don't mean in terms of the audio being out of sync. I mean you saying something on here could take 20 seconds or more for your audience to hear it on the other end. So it's a really good chance for you to do that, going, li going live just to yourself and test that out. Pick up your phone, put some headphones into your phone and, and just see what that delay is. Then any groups that I've signed up for under my personal profile are all listed here. <laughs> I think I need to have a bit of a thin out on the groups that I'm in. But I could go out to any of these groups from here. So for instance, if I were to say Ecamm Live Community, then we're scheduling in here to go on Facebook, my personal profile to Ecamm Community, and I could click go live now. And then in that case, I could add a description over here and I could hit go live and I'm gonna appear. We'll see in a minute how this works. Now, the alternative to going live on your personal profile is if you've got a business page, um, anything that you're an admin of the page should show up in here. So Adrian Salisbury business page is my main one. If for some reason you say, I'm not showing up on there, then you need to go back into Facebook and make sure that your personal profile is hooked up to your business page. It might be worth just restarting Ecamm as well. The fact that you've only just logged into it, it might just sometimes need a little nudge. If you're not happy and you still feel it's not working, you can go to the help up here in your Ecamm window and say contact support. Or alternatively, head into the Ecamm community group and uh, someone likely will be able to support you over there. But I don't think it's going to be a problem. So posting as my business page. So the post as is sorted. Now we come down a line post to. Do I want to go to my business page timeline or do I want to go to one of my linked groups? Now I do hear people say again that they can't see the group that should be linked to the page. Uh, I'm just going to show you how this works by creating a brand new group. So let's jump over to Facebook. What you're trying to do is link together a group to a page. So if I go to my page and it shows groups down here and anything that this page is linked to as a group will be listed down here. If you're looking for one that isn't there, hit link group and you should have it show up down here and you can just hit link and it'll add to that list. Now we can actually create a linked group. So I'm gonna start off with a new one here. Let's call it Ecamm test group. We'll keep it private and we'll keep it hidden. There it is. Now I am just gonna invite myself to it. That's just sent me an invitation. So this has now just set up a, a brand new group, but before it can appear in our list in Ecamm, we need to come to the bottom to the settings and we need to add the Ecamm app. So where it says at the bottom apps, we hit the pencil. Now I was clicking on here and it didn't go down. Uh, there's a button at the bottom, add apps and search over here 
Ecamm, there it is. And we're gonna add it. Okay, so now our one app is included. Now, let's just see if that's brought it in. So we're looking for Ecamm test group. I am just going to just refresh this list. I went back to my personal profile, back to my business page, and Ecamm test group, there it is. So now we can go live to this group here. So that's how you're linking it up. If you're finding that uh, for some reason it isn't linked, as I say, the personal page will be because you're not an admin, and if it's your business page and you're not seeing the group, it's because you haven't linked the two together. So hopefully that's just shown you how to do that. So we can go live to this group, and you have two options. We can either go live now, maybe I've just got some news that I wanna share, or it's five o'clock and I go live every week at five o'clock, I don't wanna schedule it. Um, I can hit now, and uh, I can when I hit go live, away it goes. Now over here, I can add a description if I want to beforehand. Over the end to description. Uh, this is my first live into this group. There we go, that'll do as a description. If you want to put a title in, there is a setting in your preferences where you can choose under Facebook to show the title field. Uh, if I tick that, it now gives me an option for a title. Now, why is it not there all the time? Because if we're just going live into the group, you don't actually get to see a title. The title only comes into play really when you're scheduling it, and we'll see that in an upcoming video. So I'm actually gonna turn that back off. I don't want that title field in there. So this is just my description. So I can go live now, and we're gonna go straight out into that group. So I need to make sure I'm ready to go. I've got my scenes sorted and things like that. Um, I've checked that my audio levels are right. I'm ready to go. So let's do it. Go live. You'll see that we get a little countdown symbol there and as soon as we're live at the top here, it comes in and it's now starting to show me. It's giving this countdown. Okay, so why don't we jump over to Facebook to this group and we'll see what this looks like coming in. So here I am in the test group and uh, this is what it looks like with me being live in here. And out of interest, shall we see what that delay is like in there? If I hit start up here and hold this on the screen, let's see how long it takes before that appears down there in the Facebook group. There we go, 24 seconds pretty much, that hit. So I'm showing you this to help you get used to the idea that when you ask a question or you do something in the group um, and don't sit and go, oh no, nobody's answering me. You've got to accept that there's at least that long. And then I hear the comment, now I pick up my phone or my keyboard and I'm got, I've got to type back a reply to you or maybe I need a few seconds just to think about my reply. Uh, so all this is good information for you to get a feel for uh, what's gonna happen. And actually this isn't a bad idea to set up a test group. I mentioned at the start that you can go live to yourself. Well, this is another way of doing it. It's totally free, it takes seconds to do. I've now set up a group and I can practice and play in here and no one can see what I'm doing. All right, so that's what it looks like in Facebook. And uh, when I comment back, hi Adrian, you'll see that over here, it comes in to the comment window, quick as that. And uh, when I click on it, I can bring that up and it comes onto my live here. Okay, when I'm done over here, I can hit finish and uh, note that hitting it once just takes you into this menu really. Do you wanna cancel or do you definitely wanna end the broadcast? Uh, loads of people do this and they click it and uh, think they finished and actually they haven't. So you have gotta hit that twice to end the broadcast. Now, at the end here it says your broadcast has finished. Do you want to view the post? That will take me over into the group to see the post. It's also reminding me that it's done a local recording. So if I want to, I can head over and have a look at that file, or I can click a button and send it up to YouTube if I'm linked to it. Now, we're gonna talk in another video about repurposing your videos, and so hitting that button isn't gonna be my recommendation, but I do think let's click the show file and come over here and you'll see that uh, for me, uh, they're in this Ecamm Live Recordings folder inside my movies 
and uh, you can get straight away a really high quality video there. Every time you do a recording, you get this uh, default recorded file here as well. So when I'm happy with that, I can hit OK and I come out of that and I'm back to my main window. Should have just pointed out that there in Facebook, you can see that that description comes up uh, as I wrote it over here. And if I want to go back through afterwards and change this around, I can edit the post and I can completely, so I could change this around. Maybe it's different. The, the description I put out in advance of the live might be different to afterwards. Maybe I want to put some links in here. Maybe I want to break down and say five minutes in, we discussed this, 10 minutes in, we did that. So I can completely change and customize that afterwards if I want to. Now that's as much as I want to cover in this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to schedule it to Facebook. Uh, and obviously there's a lot of other things that you're going to be asking me about how to do this and that. Well, please check through the playlist before you go commenting because the chances are we've already answered it. So please use the comments below to come back to me with any questions you've got or any feedback and uh, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell as we've got a whole load more Ecamm videos coming your way. See you soon. Same.